Hi, in this video I thought we'd have a look at this microscope camera. So I ordered this at the same time as the blue one that we looked at in a recent video and it has fairly similar specifications and is also at a fairly similar price point. Uh, there are also quite a few other cameras around this price point and um, when I was looking on the Banggood website it was a little bit confusing as to which one to buy really because they all kind of had fairly similar specifications. Um, but this one um, appears to be very slightly lower spec than the blue one so uh, the main limitation is that the frame rate capture is about 30 frames per second instead of 60. Um, but it's described as a 14 megapixel 1080p HDMI USB C mount camera. And basically you can record it to an SD card up to 32 gigabytes in either 1080p or 720p at 30 frames per second. Uh, in the description it says the HDMI is um, 720 uh, p at 30 frames per second but um, on all of the monitors that I've connected it to um, the resolution is 1080p so um, fairly similar again to the blue one it's just um, this one appears to be limited to 30 frames per second. So I thought what we'd do very similar to last time is um, just put this on the microscope stand and have a look at uh, a PCB so I've got a Raspberry Pi here we'll have a look at this under the microscope see what the image quality is like and, uh, and what the features are like. So this video was brought to you by Coupons from Asia and if you are interested in buying something from Banggood have a look at this website first and have a look to see if there are any current discounts or discount codes available for a product that you're after. So we've got a pretty similar setup to before so I've got the, uh, the ring light on here, we've got uh, the Raspberry Pi at the bottom and we've got a 180x lens um, just here with the 0.5 Barlow lens to give us lots of working room. Uh, and then we've got the camera connected to a 5 volt supply, HDMI lead and then we've got the SD card um, in the SD card slot. And just having a flick through the menus, uh, it's a pretty similar story on all of these micro microscope cameras. So you've got the exposure, uh, brightness, uh, resolution, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but one thing that's nice that's on this one that isn't on the blue one is the um, ability to turn off the timestamp on the recording. So I've been talking with the manufacturer of, um, of this blue one, it's a little bit difficult because they're, they're not very good at understanding English. Um, but they are trying to work on a way to turn off the timestamp through the menus, which is really nice. Uh, this one automatically has that um, built in, so uh, you can just turn it off and then you don't have that date and timestamp there. So here we are at um, 720p at 30 frames per second, and actually to my eyes the image quality is still perfectly fine. Um, you can sort of see the 30 frames per second but for the kind of work that you're going to be doing under the microscope uh, I don't see it as a huge limitation although uh, obviously the 60 or 50 frames per second is uh, is preferred so, but um, overall the image quality still looks fine and the the colors are all okay uh, I'm certainly not really seeing any um, significant difference in quality on the monitor that I'm looking at um, so I'll try changing the resolution to 1080p and see what that looks like Right, so we're now outputting at 1080p and it looks like uh, when you change the recording setting on this camera uh, it also changes the resolution setting on the HDMI monitor uh, and obviously you can see it's very slightly crisper uh, but not significantly different. Um, certainly um, for the type of work again that we'd be doing under the microscope uh, unless you want to do kind of the digital zoom um, the resolution here is absolutely fine I think so um, yeah, no problems with the image quality. It appears to be, um, you know, basically the same. It's just the frame rate that's uh, lacking on this particular camera. So one thing I noticed is that there's either a bug or it has some generic firmware on this camera for all of their cameras because if you go to the recording resolution, um, in addition to the 720p and the 1080p there's also 2k7 and 4k at 25 frames per second and if you select either of these uh, you can see it sort of freezes the image and then the camera no longer works until you reboot it and it uh, it boots up back in 720p mode so um, yeah I don't know if that's a bug or whether it's just um, some generic firmware that's on here. So actually I think that's about all there is to say about this particular camera uh, if you were looking for one at the moment I would say that this, uh, this blue one that's in the previous video which I'll link up at the top uh, is probably better value for money and also seems a lot more stable and is better supported uh, but if you are interested in looking at this one um, take a look at the links down below I'll put the link for this one as well um, if you want to have a look at that 
Um, but this one doesn't come with any software for the PC. Um, if you plug it in with the USB lead, it enumerates as a USB camera and it also works on a Raspberry Pi, so you can use it for imaging on, on one of these if you wanted to uh, set one up with a little monitor or uh, come up with some other application. And there's nothing that says these has to be used for microscopes, so you can put a normal C-mount lens on there and use it for uh, recording anything uh, that you want to. Uh, but certainly I don't think this one's quite as good as the blue one. It seems slightly less uh, featured. Uh, and it's also got that bug where if you put one of the wrong settings on, it just seems to freeze up. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, and until next time, thanks for watching.